South Africa is truly a blessed land, a land of exquisite natural beauty, a beauty that can only be appreciated by those who have sight. Welcome to the Islamic Medical Association, IMA, a non-profit public benefit organization that provides health and medical care to the disadvantaged and underprivileged communities in South Africa. IMA has been around since the 1980s and is a national organization with branches in various parts of the country. As Muslim medical and health professionals, they are committed to the values expressed by the Hippocratic Oath and believe that it is their responsibility to serve the community. And we are very happy that the Islamic Medical Association and Dr. Shabir in particular has taken the initiative to provide the service to the community and we are very happy to be part of this. The Darkness to Light project undertaken by IMA is one of the many projects that it has taken upon itself to serve the community by removing cataracts. A cataract is formed when some of the proteins in the lens of the eye clump together and start to cloud a small area of the lens. Over time, the cataract may grow larger and cloud more of the lens, making it harder to see. It is one of the leading causes of blindness in the world. Cataracts typically progresses slowly, causing vision loss and is potentially blinding if untreated. The condition usually affects both eyes, but almost always, one eye is affected earlier than the other. We thought we can help them by doing it the operation over the weekend. During the week we are, we are doing, but if we use weekend, it would be quite good. We started 2005 in Sibokeng Hospital, 2009 it came to Laratong Hospital, and till we have uh, done uh, 3,272 cataract operations. It's so all with the sponsorship and help uh, from the Islamic Medical Association, from the Pakistan community, and it is a, a private-public partnership with the Gauteng Department of Health. We use the facility of the hospital, a uh, surgeon can be from the hospital, from outside, and the nurses from the hospital work together as a team. About 20 people like this can work in two days and 35 patients got their vision back. We are grateful to the surgeons and the Department of Health. They give us a free hand to expand this program and do it uh, as much as we can. Symptoms of cataracts include blurry vision, colors, especially blue, appear faded. Difficulty seeing in brightly or dimly lit rooms. Double vision. Increased nearsightedness. Seeing halos around light. Reduced night vision. Cataracts are caused by age, smoking, other eye conditions, medical conditions such as diabetes, trauma, or past eye surgery. Unfortunately, having cataracts affects not only one person's eyesight, but it has a major effect on their loved ones as well. So, first of all, we thank the Lord for being allowing us to be able to carry out this kind of activity in our country, where there is still, unfortunately, poverty. But you can imagine that if not been for the donors, we would not have been able to do what we are doing today because this is costing you nothing. Thank you to the state for providing the facilities. Thank you to the doctors for their dedication. Thank you to the donors and we hope that this will carry on good work. Cause of the blindness caused by cataract, the person becomes dependent on others. Patients eventually can't manage any personal hygiene, cook or clean for themselves they become depressed and become mentally unstable. I'm not going to tell me about this camp of uh, Lerato. She said, tell me that you must go to the Lerato and you must go pay your eyes to the Lerato. Uh, and I come to the Lerato and the Lerato help me. Uh, I'm glad and glad and glad. Now I see very smart. I must tell the doctor and my nephew, thank you very much for what they did for me. Thank you. 
cataracts are the cause of more than 50% of blind cases among South Africans. Eyesight can be completely reversed with highly specialized yet fairly simple medical procedure in less than 24 hours. The project has, has, has reduced the eye operations backlog and helped more than 2,000 underprivileged and senior citizens in their journey from darkness to light. The operation takes approximately 30 minutes in theatre as doctors need to surgically remove the cataract and place an artificial lens in the eye. The Islamic Medical Association in conjunction with Pakistani community of South Africa and the Gauteng Department of Health has been involved in a unique cataract eye cam program since April 2005, bringing light to those persons who have cataract blindness. It is a really great honor for me to be here again. Last time when I came here, the faces were different, but the happiness on their faces is similar as I see them today. This is our culture teaches us, hospitality. Everything is not money. If everything was money, people who are rich could sleep well. Money is needed only for your needs, which is beyond my needs, which I don't need. I should share it with others. I would request all of you, please share your happiness. This is a wonderful day for all of you. You will be able to go back homes and see your children, your parents, your own room again. We are doing it because they believe in service of humanity. We are all the same. We are all created by God Almighty. I am really impressed by the service that Islamic Medical Association and Pakistani physicians and their organization is doing. The ordinary citizens who cannot afford to be on medical aid rely on the Department of Health for providing health care at a nominal cost. Depending on the surgeon and location of the private clinic, one cataract operation can cost between 12,000 and 19,000 runs. This amount is not affordable to many senior citizens in South Africa, especially from the underprivileged communities. This hospital cares for the people who are going blind, and we thank the management for that. They prioritize on their eye health. That's why you people are here. And this is my second time to be with you in, in, in this camp, to look at the faces which are, by the grace of God, now very happy because they got their eyesight. May God bless you. So we as Oka of South Africa are pledging that as many operations that can be done, we will be there to support this project. Thank you to all of you. May God bless you. Have a safe journey home. Thank you. So the Islamic Medical Association is just a vehicle for different people to come up with an idea and dispense it in the community. People can make a change. Madiba has made a change and today we celebrate his greatness and hopefully we can continue his serving of humanity. We are now able to provide a service like this and we need to provide other services more and more and to other people in outside Gauteng. Uh, so we are uh, bringing the fruits of freedom to our people. Thank you so much. The first cataract surgery eye camp was conducted at the Sebokeng Hospital in April 2005, south of Johannesburg, and has since then rolled out to other provinces, Leratong, Helen Joseph Hospital, Johannesburg, Sebokeng Hospital, Natal Spreit, Clarkstop, Nelson Mandela Hospital in Tata, Eastern Cape, St. Aidan's Hospital, Durban, Pretoria West Hospital. The relationship between the hospital and um, the IMA started in 2009 when the first um, cataract camp was done in honor of the late Dr. Nelson Mandela. Um, our main catchment area at Liratong is the communities of West Rand, which includes Ranfantine, Western area, 
um, but because of where the hospital is located, sometimes we accommodate patients as far as Soweto, so we are really, really grateful. It really has made such an impact. We get patients who will tell you that they have been waiting for a cataract operation for years and years. But then with us here, we don't make them wait for long. We sacrifice our time so that we can come over the weekends to come and do them. The cataract camps have been held over weekends when it's needed and have resources. My eyes today is better because of him and her. When I told him about my eyes, I didn't believe he was going to help me. But he told me, to, he said, go to a hospital, Lirato Hospital, somebody's going to help you there. I didn't believe it. But when I come here, he, give me, he said, come back tomorrow, we're going to operate you. I said, thank you very much. Everybody who help us, Nyabong, thank you. Saturday, I made operation on RI. I'm 100% now. I'd like to thank the team of Leraton Hospital. I'd like to thank the doctor. I'd like to thank the government who's involved. And then I'd like to thank the community of the Pakistan. I'd like to thank everybody who's involved on this. I thank everybody. The worth of this entire project in RAND terms accumulates to 35 million rands. This is an ongoing project with the potential to extend to other hospitals in the province and country. Plans are in place to do monthly cataract camps in all of the above mentioned and other hospitals when needed in the near future and special camps to commemorate international icon Nelson Mandela on his birthday. And I think, as a hospital, this is one of the projects that's dear to our heart. We need to try the best possible way to get more patients who are having the same issue than you to be able to see again. In the very same hospital, my uncle benefited in the same way that the other people have been physically benefited. Thank you very much. Are you able to see now? That we will have all projects. This is just one of the projects. Let's do many, many other projects and let's work together. And there's enough in this country for everybody. Let's share it. Let's share it. That's very important. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Funding is provided by Pakistan Community of South Africa. Bliss Brand Private Limited, Harun Tayyop's family, the National AWQAF Foundation of South Africa, Sultan Bahu Center, the Rosh Med Hospital Scheme, Caring Woman Forum, and State Hospitals facilities are being used to carry out operations. The funds are used to pay the staff members who work over the weekend and to buy the intraocular lenses and consumables. Currently, there are approximately 170,000 patients waiting for cataract surgery in South Africa and over 35,000 in Gauteng province. And by coming here to Laratom, I didn't even have to pay a cent for this operation because it's funded by the Islamic Medical Association. I had the cataract operation, which was very successful, and currently I can see very well. Thank you to the Islamic Association, thank you to Laranto Hospital, the service was just great from the word go. I'm now able to see 100, 100% with my left eye. God must bless you more than this. Please, I appreciate what you speak into me. I see everything. I am going to play with my grandchildren now. I'll see him nicely. 
Support this bright initiative by pledging your support to IMA Cataract Project and help take many from darkness to light. IMA Reflect Care Heal